What a tragedy! Seven Nigerian soldiers killed as terrorists. Again, ambushed Army General's convoy in Taraba State. Hmm. Nigeria is in a, a pitiable, you know, situation. The most saddest part of all this is that our leaders they care less about all this, all these happenings. Everybody wants to be Nigerian president come 2023. It has become a mockery. Everybody wants to be president because they know that the person there he cannot, in fact, he has nothing to offer. So you just look at yourself, wow, I can do it. The killings are becoming too much. The government is just after agitators. They are after protesters. But bandits turning lords in Nigeria is a pity. At least seven Nigerian soldiers have been killed following an ambush on the convoy of the commanding officer of the 93 Army Battalion, Takom Taraba State, by gunmen suspected to be terrorists. Military source told Sahara reporters that the Brigadier General was on his way to Jelingo on Tuesday when the incident happened. One of the sources said, the whereabouts of the senior military officer and his orderly are unknown hours after the attack. Another source added that he wasn't sure the Brigadier General was in the convoy, but said his official vehicle was among those attacked. <laughs> oh my God, this is really very terrible. How are we going to, how are we going to save the situation in Nigeria? If the army failed to burn the Taraba resident houses as well, send them to their makers the way they normally do in the East, then I won't have alternative than to hope. Vengeance done by unknown gunmen. Let me see or hear fan from one Nigerianist who can't have peace in injustice and hypocrisy. Referendum remains stay the way. Okay, someone just dropped that. Don't join. Don't join. You refuse to listen. Nigeria is not worth dying for now that you are dead. Who will take care of your innocent children and wives? Because I know Nigeria will not. You see the language you understand now. Oh yeah, presidential spirit, APC, and the rest begin to donate 100 million naira each. For the upkeep of their families, referendum is the solution. Rest in peace. We urge the Nigerian force to remain calm. The language just started. The boys are not yet done. Hmm. Not is the only unity beggars. I cannot believe that the Nigerian army that is always visible in the southwest and south southeast cannot let the hell loose on this beast. I have said it and I will continue to say it that the eternity terrorism has come to stay in the north due to their hypocrisy and religious sentiment. Most soldiers should be sent to Imo State immediately. It was an arrangement from the terrorist brothers in Nigeria government. They always sent southerners to the north to be ambushed why they give army uniform to repentance terrorists to operate in Biafra land. That is the hidden agenda our southern politicians always find, hard, find it hard to believe even with evidence. They have pushed thousands of their terrorists to the eastern Nigeria yesterday to continue killing innocent people Why our politicians are still buying 2023 presidential forms. Hmm. These are reactions by Nigerians. I weep for Nigerian army. At this point, the easiest way to die is to join Nigerian army. When they see unarmed citizens, they will be flexing morsels 
But when they meet their water law, they become powerless. Referendum now. This is why I like these guys operating in the north. They don't talk too much. Ashon speaks volume, still, waiting for soldiers to invade the community and burn it down. Hmm. All these soldiers killing, they will not declare war or state of emergency. This is seven soldiers, oh, but two was allegedly killed. And look at the way Southeast was boiling. If you listen to all the Nigerian media and the people that used to call them, you will know that truly, truly Nigeria is not one. Okay, someone said, I pray that they will tag this one IPOP. Imagine a whole convoy. If it has happened in the Southeast, let's say, let's say Imo State, the whole community around the area will be in problem. There is more to do on our armed forces based on civic education. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. The truth is that this government has failed woefully. Our young ladies have turned, you know, widows because bandits, you know, killed their husband. Young widows everywhere in Nigeria. The government care less about the welfare of the citizens. I always say this. You can imagine what they just care is about themselves. People jumping out, they want to pay 100 million naira to buy nomination form. Also, still they strike. The government, no, they talk about that, that one. In fact, it will not be their problem. Anything that concerns Nigerians is less their problem. Only God will judge those who have put in us in this condition. I'm dropping it here, guys. May their soul rest in peace. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.